What's going on, guys? I'm Taylor. It's your boy Dre. And uh, recently, we uh, there's been a lot of uh, talk going on with the whole a lot of talk. Fox Marvel <laughs> in talks. Um, okay, so and take we, a step back. It, it's not Fox my story, Marvel. But, it's uh, fo- 20th Century Fox, 20th Century Fox, and Disney. 20th Century Fox, who owns uh, all the mutant rights, essentially of and also Fantastic Four, X Men, Logan, Deadpool, um, Fantastic Four, and all their properties. And Disney. So, granted, this is just rumor. You know, there there have been talks. No, 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 no. no. Okay, so take take that back. The talks aren't rumor. The talks have been confirmed by both execs. Yeah, and but but Disney the Fox, but the but, yeah. but the acquisition of that from Disney is just rumors. They could be talking just to, from crossovers. Who knows? Like there have been talks. There's always talks. Everybody's always talking. Nothing really confirmed yet. So I don't want to sit and say, oh yeah, they're going to. But this is more of a we're just gonna geek out for a moment and and give some. Um, good and bad. Like, what, what, what are the pros and cons if it happens? More of like a what if. Like, say, it's, you know, granted Marvel, so let's do a what if comic here. What if they, what, Disney. <laughs> what if the what Marvel if, Universe was one universe like yes. it was designed to be? Yeah. <laughs> that is a crazy concept. What Harris, if the X Men and the Avengers were part of the same universe? They know almost? each other? It almost seems like there was a comic book at some point in time. What? Like, what crazy? crisis? Crazy. No. As different comics. Crazy. Now, um, so the talks are about like, Fox, um, and Disney buying Fox, and what everybody um, gravitated to, obviously, is the the whole uh, Marvel comics because they're owned by both be, studios. Uh, on, on the side, one, we're not going to speak about Spider-Man. Spider-Man, Sony, totally different company. It's not. It's not in question. So if people are so, why are you talking about Spider-Man? It's Sony. It's not. It's not Fox. Twenty first century Fox. But wait, Taylor. Spider Man was in the invention. They have a contract <laughs> where they have a contract with Spider Man could it could appear in so many movies, but then they t- Fox had it back with they uh MCU MCU got to ramp up the Spider Man hype, and then they brought over to Sony back with all the hype behind it, so they they get more money. That's all it really was. Yeah, yeah I, it's all about money. Um, but yeah, so let's talk yeah, back. As you mentioned. Um, the the talk of towns are uh, just um, Marvel comics, and keep in mind that Fox only doesn't own Marvel comics that would interest Disney. And, uh, anything that Fox owns, which is uh, like a lot of stuff, would interest Disney. Granted, granted. Okay, so if you wonder, well, what mutants? What about um, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch and the Avengers? They were described as enhanced, <laughs> enhanced people. They aren't non mutants. Yeah. They couldn't use the word mutant in the movie, so they said enhanced. They were enhanced. So now, could you imagine a lawsuit over the word mutant? It, it, it would be like the most ridiculous thing. They say mutant. You want to get, like, that, oh, get that, <laughs> that the Supreme Court in there? <laughs> yeah, like, get, a, like, get the C-SPAN in there. It, it, would, it <laughs> would actually be really interesting because you have these two conglomerate giants, Disney and Fox, battling over. There has to be a million dollar <laughs> lawyer saying mutant, superhero, <laughs> X Men, Cyclops. He has to be using regenerated powers. Yeah. It, and then he comes out the blob, and you're like, "What? What are you talking it, about? What are these words?" The most the, that lawsuit would be a TV show in itself. <laughs> like, what are they fighting over? The mutant trials. Uh, that's right. That's right there. Stomach, right, uh, there, the whole is like it's an arc right there. Uh, that's, but, civil, that's civil war. Um, I'm gonna go a bit. And I'm Mr. Negative. I'm always down on things. There is a lot of good that would come from this <clears throat> acquisition um, for the Marvel universe. Again, that's not the only thing on the table, but it's the biggest thing that people are talking about right now. It's character only. Um. Uh, so let's, let's let's start off with the plus. Obviously, money. Uh, Disney got tons of money. I mean, they've are they're already talking about a new Star Wars trilogy, and this one's only on what one point or uh, part two. Yeah, they're they're already there's, talking there's, to there's the a, next three. Yeah, movies. the three movies confirmed. Is it gonna be um? <laughs> is it gonna be negative two, negative one, and zero, or is it gonna it's be? It'll be it'll be a whole different thing. Oh, not, Star Wars is different succession. So they're they're but, even um, so they're in a spinoff. They're talking about a trilogy. In a spinoff, that's how Excuse bad me. it is. They, they just want—they're already ready to pump these out. Yeah. Um, back when Disney first bought, uh, um, uh, Star Wars. Now, uh, back when they first thought about Star Wars, I knew I was like, "Look, they're gonna release a Star Wars movie maybe every year and a half now." So we've already gotten the first one. We've already gotten Rogue Story. We got—we're getting Last Jedi next but year. We're talking about Marvel, though, right? Yeah, we're. Oh, 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 I'm getting to that. Okay. So next year we're gonna get the. Um, next year we're gonna get the uh, Han Solo movie rumored. Um, it's been shooting already. It's not rumor. Okay, no, they're working it next year. It's every year. Yeah, so it's, every it's every year, every other year. So anyway, it's episode standalone, episode standalone, episode. Yeah, they're pumping them out. Yeah. Um, the good thing is, so if Marvel or Di- if Fox, I hate it's so confusing, but if Disney got Marvel's 
Fox's Marvel licenses. You would essentially see an X Men, um, Fantastic, Fantastic Four, Four. And any any of the a- X Men universe characters. Yeah, it, they would be pumping them out every every year, if not every other year. Um, it, it would be an on flow, and if you love that, because X Men were probably the most popular Marvel comic in the mid '90s. Um, X Men cartoon. That's the first um, movie that came out. Yeah. Well, I know Blade. No, it goes way back. Uh, I think if you want to be technical, the first thing that came out was the Avengers. Way I'm talking about. Wait, I'm talking about like VHS. Yeah. Um, and Dolph Lundgren's The Punisher. Yeah. And well, I guess the biggest mainstream oh, Blade. I, I want to say biggest main main. I guess no. I said biggest X Men. X Men. X Men was what brought everybody into it. Yeah. Because you said Blade, like oh Blade, you know, with Vampire Hunter. You don't really associate that with Marvel Comics, even though it is. Yeah. But X Men. X Men is like that's Marvel. Like, X Men proved that comic book movies were like the new shit. Yeah. Like uh, there were like I said there was other movies. Um, but the first X Men, um, what is it even called? I don't even know what the movie is. It was X-Men. Just called X Men. Oh yeah, that movie took off. And I don't even think it was that great to be honest. But I think Wolverine really helped to take off. Uh, you had um, Rogue, like that. Yeah, well, the X Men general. X Men. Yeah, I'm watching that Professor X. Like yeah. they, they had these people who played their characters so perfectly. It was like, wow, this is this is a thing. Essentially, you took the fancy, the fancy casting from Wizard, you know, the, fan, the <laughs> yeah, fancy cast, I and you those, moved, moved yeah. it over to the movie and said, okay. You got your fans cast. Go. Yeah, and it and it was like it was amazing. And to this day, I mean, I cannot now. If anyone else plays Charles Xavier, I'm like, this just, but he's not. Well, yeah, 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 X Men Last Stand. You know, X Men. There, you know, McAvoy played them. Yeah, no, and and when I first saw it, I I still to this day I'm just like. But I just don't imagine him turning into Patrick Stewart, and even though they, ha- they even back, had like a scene where they're both there, and it's like, no, back, I still don't back see on, it. Yeah. Back, back to the subject there. Um, Going about the positives, you said, yeah. po- the positives of having a a Marvel acquisition of uh, the Fox properties, Fox Great Century Fox properties, um, which is the X Men. What what's what positives do you think besides money? What I my positive would be better writing. They'd have good writers for some reason. If you look at the writers on the MCU, and then you know, and then you have the Fox Twenty First Century Fox writers. Those writers are are like they have good story writing and funny and enjoyable, and they have over here their the stories are told, but eh, it's like whatever you know. Sometimes like they'll they'll hit two thirds of the acts, two out of three acts will be good, and the third act will be crap. <laughs> well, the, 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 the first, the first, the first, you know, the oh, the whole movie will be crap, or like the characters in there. I'm like, oh, whatever. They hit it out of the park. Like I'm a big Deadpool fan. I really enjoy Deadpool. Deadpool will be part of this, but. Can you imagine Disney did? That's, not, that's the part Deadpool of the Deadpool with the mouse, but Mickey we'll, Mouse ears? Because you know they would be poking fun at themselves. Yeah. yeah. But the thing is with the writing, like you'd have a Fantastic Four. You'd have a Fantastic Four with proper writers who have, you know, Marvel, the Marvel well, behind Was that it, new and Fantastic have, Four that bad? I, I know part of it. Like, I didn't. <laughs> I tried to here and there. And, you know, I got I got, I got got just as far into that as Assassin's Creed. And I stopped <laughs> watching it. I was like halfway. I'm like, this is boring. Oh, I didn't do that. No it part was an of it Assassin's all. Creed movie. I yeah. forgot. Yeah. But um you know it is more writing. Yeah, I want to see the writers for the MCU over the over the Fox, the Century Fox I mean, writers. Like I want I want to see them, I want to see the directors, I want to see their writers, I want to see their concept, I want to see their actors, I want to see everything that they for some reason they have their fingers on the pulse of what to what to talk about, how to write it, and which characters to put into you know it. Why? It's like a sweatshop, right? And there's a guy with their those drums. Doo. Right. So it be. Right. So it be. Right. And then it's gonna, like the guy like he come up with a script, and they go get the sign. They go, oh, is it good? Is it good? Is it good? And they read it and like no. And then like the, the security guards come taking away. And like, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's how I imagine Disney. Studios. That's how. That's how Disney. That is, well, that's how I imagine di- working at Disney is. And it, it's probably some truth to that. And they drag the dude away. And then like. Oh, uh, Tony's no longer with us, and they, they don't say like, "Wait, was he killed?" Or like, "No, Tony, he's just no Tony's longer." Tony's been relocated with it. to yeah. a different position in the, in the company. <laughs> um, it's actually it's pretty pretty much funny. There's a story, and this is a way side note. The, the dude who made The Incredibles, they said he came out with the little the brave toaster that could. What is that name? Brave little toaster. Yeah, brave little toaster. And he showed him that film, and then the Disney execs fired him. He's like, "This is what we can be doing." And like, okay. Um, thank you for working with us. And he literally got fired. Or there's like a longer story to that, but that was his the last. The gist of it. He yeah, got until fired he over came showing back, 
until he came back for the Incredibles, but that was what his that ended his Disney career. And of course, I love Brave Little Toaster that could. It's uh, not, <laughs> not a toaster that could. It's the Brave Little Toaster. That's all it is. No, so, that could. Anyway, but back to the Marvel. See, the one of the biggest things for me in terms of uh, X Men, uh, Fox, were, and I'll probably say my favorite part about the entire Marvel uh, Fox was the cartoons. We would map. We would might see the cartoons because as you and, know and they, those would go right, directly to disney xd or yeah. they currently have spider-man the avengers and uh they have ages of shield that were still on there and they had different versions Maybe. of that but it was and shields on there was a, there was a shield cartoon um, it was a shield there cartoon was, it was, there was a shield cartoon <laughs> that sounds bad no no sorry shit was it no it was agents of fuck was it oh the agents of smash yeah it was a that whole was that was a whole terrible, that was a whole my apologies it's sort of um, things you want. It's, it's a good. They have Garden of Galaxy right now going on Does currently. It yeah. Uh, okay. But um, so if you know uh, anything, so Fox owns the live action rights to um, Marvel. The cartoon rights are essentially still owned by Disney, which makes it more complicated because Disney has been trying to kill off anything that wasn't Avengers. So they they. That's been, why you don't see Fantastic Four uh, comics anymore. Oh, Fantastic Four it. comics are gone. Yeah, Fantastic Four comics are gone. Um, they've been killing off X Men. Com- it'd be really hard to kill them off because they're still profitable. But they've been kind of like uh, they even went back to like X Men ninety two. Yeah, they've been pulling resources, so it's not that many X Men comics as there was. All X Men cartoons. I mean, I remember be- during the time of the acquisition, it was X Men and Wolver- Wolverine. And the X Men. Yeah, uh, was still on the air, and they killed that. And I actually really enjoyed that show. That was the Days <laughs> Future Past, right? Uh, cartoon. It- no, no, no. It was wrong. I thought X-Men... The oh, X-Men. it was similar. Yeah. Because... Uh, a lot of days speech past talk. The whole, whole, uh, per- Professor se- X the whole season. Talk, yeah, X- Professor X like talked this in the... No, he was in the future. Yeah, yeah. He got it tossed days, in the future. And, future past and, and he was like in that coma. And I couldn't figure out why. And yeah, they said... Yeah. It was like days of future past slash... Um, they went with Apocalypse was one of them. And then like uh, the uh, Sentinel. Yeah. Were like the main villains. And they kind of were playing with that. Do you like, do you like X-Men involved? Or the X Men Evolution. I thought it school? was like a good uh, after after high school show. Because to me there was okay to, to me there was two sets of cartoons. There's the cartoons that come on right before you get to work or right before you went to school. Cartoons that came on when you got home from school, and then the Saturday morning cartoons. That's, two, that's three cartoons. You said two. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, so I, three, I considered the um, before school and after school essentially the same. Okay, I mean, context, buddy. Con- okay, there was like the right midday cartoons and there were Saturday morning cartoons. Saturday morning cartoons were where it was. Like, those that had the serious story, those were like, had the drama. You know, Soak you never yeah. knew what fucking time, what time they came on. Yeah. They never, they never said, it was you, said, it always said, later this, later today, later this, later yeah. this morning, this will be on. Like, the fuck, when? <laughs> the fuck, what do I know? But then like, the, there was a cartoon you came on and just enjoyed like, uh, teenage angst cartoons or just like teenage angst in like some universe. It'd be like Vampire Diary Chronicles and it'd be like vampires trying to survive and then teenage angst. Is. And there's also like familiar. prime time cartoons like your Spawn that actually had like some... some uh, that was cable though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're, they're like the Spawns and there was like uh, um, shows that came on channels you had to pay for. Sesame Street now? Yeah. <laughs> HBO. You had to pay for Sesame Street? No, they, they, have, they, have, they have Sesame Street on HBO though. Oh, I not know. It's sort. darker. Oh, that's, I'm curious. A lot of cussing. A lot of cussing. Seriously? <laughs> I was like, what? I was like, damn, I am not been, I've had man cable in so long. I think it's the goddamn things, drug addict. <laughs> things have changed. Uh, like, there's, you know, there's, so there's three types of cartoons, but there's the ones that were on the act, available cable in uh, X-Men Evolve was one of those after high school Evolution. cartoons. Evolution. It was fun, but it wasn't like, Super serious. I never expected it to get too serious. It's just a way of bringing comic book characters. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't. I didn't like it at all. It's like it's like to me. It's like the the equivalent of now would be Teen Titan Go. It's just about the just to have you know. Okay, Teen Titans Go is as DC. Quick aside. That's that's a good cartoon. It's a funny cartoon. If you watch, if watch, watch if you can watch episode when they go when they play Oregon Trail. That's (laughs) fucking hilarious. (laughs) (laughs) It's like one of those cartoons. It's fun. Like the story. Like it's like um. Spider-Man universe? What was that damn cartoon? He went to like some other planet. <clears throat> Which one? Spider-Man. It's Spider-Man, but he in the first episode he goes and hops on a rocket ship to another universe, <laughs> and like my planet needs me. Had to go. Yeah, it's really that him and like J. Jonah Jameson go to like a different universe, and like essentially all the characters from the first universe are there, but it's like a different planet entirely. <sighs> Is this a Spider Verse you're talking about? Because they had um, because the Spider Man had the different arcs. They had 
the they had the whole Spider Verse when the Spider Verse was happening in the comics. They had Spider Verse happening on the show. You know, we're getting fucking way off topic yeah, here. Yeah. Like the whole the whole like good yeah. and bad has gone down for like two good okay, things. And so let me talk to you about the bad because I brought up cartoons and you know okay, so we're, let's... we're children of the '90s. So when you say uh, Marvel cartoons, clear my schedule. That, we, have, like, yeah, we have discussions. We could we could talk about Marvel's cartoon. And I we literally could talk about Marvel's cartoon all damn day. Not, we just, we just not, not right small, now. Just just uh, just uh, comic book cartoons of the '90s because that's to me where it was at. Okay, and uh, uh, it's a nostalgia for me. anyway. Um, that's why I said geeking. That's why it's called geeking out. Yeah. Just fucking just geek out about shit. Like seriously, uh, I keep. I mean, you can go to anyone, uh, children of the night, and go da 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 da, and they will all let's sit down and talk. Because we all did it, did it, did it, Yeah, and then there's the oh, it's fine. It's like oh, dude, '90s cartoons was. I think '90s cartoons was like the golden age, and they. They were with me while See how drink his topics. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm oh, yeah. now for the bad. Anyway, bad to cartoons. The bad. So, okay, let's talk about the bad. Um, you were talking about the writing, and you said how much the writing, the team, that we do, and we've already confirmed that they are uh, switched for some reason, for, for somehow, for, uh, for some reason, the, the writing is um, worse on the 21st Century Fox side. And, uh, I'm not sure why and or how. Here's to me was the bad. As much as I think these Marvels and movies are enjoyable, that's all they are. They, they shoot straight for the middle. They don't take any risks. They're so... Genetic. Like, if you took the plot to um, go on Thor to the Which Avengers, Thor is, is three Thor's Garden of the time. Galaxy, like the most recent movies. Like, if you took the plots in the most recent Disney Marvel movies, it is almost a cookie cutter plot of any like hero who prevails. Like, they don't take any risk. It's well, isn't so it always generic. isn't that the regular three act three act play? No, it's just like three acts in- introduce but- conflict resolution. Three X, yes, but I'm talking about it to the point where it's like so generic that if you took these characters out and replaced them with any other characters in the Marvelverse or the Disney Marvelverse, they're the story inter- is almost they're exactly inter- they're the same. They're interchangeable. Yeah, to the point that they're so generic. I think <coughs> what's going to be lost in the acquisition is that risk that we're going to be some. We're going to take this movie to the edge. We're going to do some risky stuff. We're going to push it to the end. But we're going to like 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 a uh, good example is Deadpool. They did. That was my example. I was gonna say. Yeah, I was say yeah. Deadpool's. They did. They did Deadpool things, and they pushed it. Uh, if you get Disney Marvel, it'll still be. I mean, don't get me wrong. All these movies are entertaining, but they they're purposely entertaining because they point right to the middle where everyone is gonna love the film. They don't push it to like, well, this is what we could be like. Like, this is how I imagine it. Back to the sweatshop. Yeah, you go up in there and like, right now Fox is like, I have this idea, and it, it may work. It may not. Right. Like, okay. okay, let's let's go for that. Let's see how that works out. Fails. Okay, it happens, right? And I guess it's a billion dollar blunder, and people wants it, wants it to happen. But Disney's like, "Hey, I had this idea." Disney's like, uh, "No, just tone it down. How about how about this instead? How about he has a buddy? But buddy, well, you never had a buddy. No, 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 how about he has a buddy?" And it kind of pushed like this whole like like this um, agenda, like a Disney agenda, where it's like all the movies to me are just gonna. Like I love when Disney first bought it, but then I started seeing that like, all these movies so just point to the middle where they're all so. You keep saying you keep saying Disney. You keep saying Disney. You think Disney had a big influence on this? Because they said I, they they said that when they they bought Marvel that they will not affect. Yeah, that's they won't. Said. They they they. Okay, now like, this is all. Is, hey, he's, we're he's talking all, about billions of said, dollars. There's no. I'm gonna give you a billion dollars. I'm, I'm not saying that, but, have they, my but hand they said they weren't. They weren't gonna. They weren't gonna affect or or put their hand in the cookie jar of Marvel. They 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 may. They'll have the pocket, the deep pockets for the the writers and the team for the movies and so forth and the comics, but they aren't going to sit in. Do, do you imagine if someone walks up to the Disney door? And, I'm just hey, saying. Hey, can I get four billion dollars in any Avengers movie? Like, oh yeah, sure, no. It's like, okay, let's talk well, about that's the not, plots. That's what, that's what I'm saying though. But like, <laughs> they have to have. They don't have. Okay, they don't. They don't have. Um, inner say like they don't say like they they aren't the the final say so. Granted. There was that guy at the top who signs the checks, who approves all the checks. Who's not gonna be reading fucking scripts? That's not good. That guy's not gonna do shit. He's not gonna. He's not gonna get his hands dirty. He has people but, twenty-six layers down to but do that for but him. But you know, you know. Think of it, Disney, right? Think you making <clears throat> Taylor. You are the guy who makes the final approval. I'm the fucking guy. Yeah. They write you, and at the end of the day, I write your five hundred thousand dollar a year check, right? Yeah. You're making the approval. Movie comes out. I don't like that movie. Uh, the plot was bad. But how? But how did it do in the box office? dollars check. But how did it do in the box office? And they will replace you. Okay. They okay, will granted. find somebody else to make their approvals 
they they sh they they make better approvals for five hundred thousand dollars. So now you're in this position where you have to pick the most. Okay, I'm not saying that it's like this, but I'm saying you're put in this position where it's like you get five hundred thousand dollars to make these good decisions, right? Okay. You don't get five hundred thousand dollars to take risk. You get five hundred thousand dollars to make a um, payout. So I I in my thing I think that you're gonna do the most. You're gonna take the less risk possible to keep getting that five hundred thousand dollars. So you want less risk, big reward. Yeah, and that's why I think that's how I think all the storyline now. And you're saying like I understand that they probably may not actually have a Disney exec there, but they have people who gets paid by Disney execs to make the safest. Well, remember, so we, me and Taylor did an interview with this dude. Um, I can't think of the name now, but he had a. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Who was it for? Those the, the Tiki the. Was it the, the Tiki Tiki Tabby? No, 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 that the, one. Not that dude. The uh, the 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 pilot. Uh, the trailer pilot. we watched. Uh, Dream World, like Nemo's Dream oh, okay, World. Okay, yeah. Um, and you know he was telling us like you know they don't pay for us. They pay for money, mm -hmm. and that like they they invest out and they and, then I, and when he said that like it all made sense to me that Fox, Disney, Marvel, comics, it's all about money at the end of the day. I mean, sure, it's a business either way. It's a business. Yeah, it's a huge it's a business. business. And like so. When if Fox signs over Marvel to Disney, that business aspect is going to be increased because Disney it, they're re 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 releasing Disney films. They have a live action of a cartoon that was a remake of a cartoon, and then they're going to keep they they're I mean sure these movies are good. Okay, and like I said they're entertaining. They're not bad movies, and that's the point where. They don't take risks. They just make sure. How do we make everyone smile and laugh in the movie in the most generic? It's like seeing a now, clown almost. Gra granted, uh, to to your to cite to what you were saying about the remakes of the Being the Beast. So Being the Beast book cartoon now a live action movie. Three different generations. So let's let's make it down to grandmother, mother, granddaughter. But her, 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 and that's a good point. But but one saying like, how similar were the cartoon and the live action? They're probably like I haven't seen. Fair. Okay. I know, but I I'm almost thinking it's like one to one. They they everyone loved the cartoon, so they're gonna do or the movie, a cartoon movie. So they're just gonna do exactly that because they know it sells. Okay. Like it wasn't like a new story. It wasn't like a different plot. It was probably literally almost cookie cutter. Like you could draw like lines. There there have been similarities where the BNB cartoon movie was pretty much the same as even to the point of the dance. I believe was like just the same exact thing except real yeah. in real life and there's nothing wrong with remaking something and getting paid for it but remaking and copying too many things though don't yeah. remake the movie don't copy it don't don't copy don't don't take the same exact shots from the cartoon same, 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 and part. so in our generation or our kids generation is going to be beauty and the beast vr they're going to put a headset on it and they're going to be sitting there dancing, dancing with yeah <laughs> and then in the future it'll be like a psychic psionic link they're going to be like a uh Star Trek mind melding, and then like, okay, that's how movies are gonna be in the future. And you get, then, you walk in, you walk into a green screen, a different, a big, a big box is just a green <laughs> screen around you, and you are the movie, yeah. and you're told these parts, <laughs> yeah. you get to play it out. That'd be kind of cool. I, I can't wait to that day. Too bad we can't live forever. Or can we? Well, well, we'll see. I mean, even Hugh Hefner died. Ah, dude, st you know, uh, Stan Lee's like 97 years old. Don't jinx it. <laughs> I'm not jinxing. it. That's I'm just saying. Dre, Dre jinx what, it, not me. Okay, what I, re reason I said that is <clears throat> Stan Lee still goes out to these conventions. He still he's, signs he's in, autographs. He's in, he's in Thor 3. He's in Thor 3. Go see that dude at the next convention if you can. Cause I got his autograph. Honestly. I'm for an hour and a half to get it. He's About 60 bucks. I he's got knocking 100 years old. There aren't that many people that have lived past 100. I've done so much. <laughs> yeah. So if you are a Stan Lee, Marvel, Disney, comic book fan, even if you're just a comic book fan, just go see Stan Lee while you get the chance. Because he honestly is the, uh, I don't want to wish ill will. I'm hoping this dude lasts forever. But clearly Hugh Hefner passed away. So this dude is, uh, he he's knocking on the door next. That's all I'm but, saying. But that is tied back to the, neg <laughs> the negativity of, uh, of that. So one thing, you mentioned Deadpool. So if... If by chance Disney acquires, you must say goodbye to all already movies. They made such a they made such a big push to get Deadpool and Logan to be R rated the way they should be. They're worthy the way it should be. You know that's the way they should be. And now with Deadpool two is gonna be R rated. It has to be. They can't they can't go backwards. You can only go you can only stay <laughs> yeah. the ER go forward. Five hundred thousand so, dollars you can go backwards. Huh? <laughs> okay, but saying though, but like if if by chance 
if by chance Disney acquires Fraser Century Fox, mutants, including Deadpool, Cable, X Force, all that good stuff, um, you're gonna see, there's, there's gonna have to be, they're gonna have to, either it's gonna be, I don't wanna say a reboot, and, and honestly, because you can't, you can't have Deadpool with somebody else than Ryan Reynolds. I don't see anybody else playing him other than Ryan Reynolds. I, 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 can, I can see, uh, I, I can see some other people playing. I don't know. It, it, it got to be so much that there's so much work put into getting this movie made, and it had such a big reaction, and it did so well that you're you're just it, it would be just it's just slapping the face to everybody if they went to Disney and it's not BG13 and yeah you know okay so you're right so you mentioned the main, teasing the making themselves if Deadpool went to Disney it would be down PG13. They'd really have to like, they would push the line like Netflix pushes the line with, with the, their 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 shows where like yeah. there's sex and violence and there's cussing but not a lot too much cussing. But they're really just towing the line of that of that like R PG13. Like they're really yeah. pushing it. Um, that'd be Deadpool, and it would be the whole movie would be have to be him. Oh, can't do that at Disney. Can't do that. It'd be it'd be self referencing himself, like because it Brad Deadpool breaks the fourth wall. It would be oh sorry guys, you can't do that because that's Disney. That's all. It's all the movie yeah. would be. It was him. <laughs> I can't do this. Like oh, I can't do that. I can't shoot him. I can't show that. Oh, like whatever. Pull the camera or yeah. oh, can't do that. Oh, strip club. Oh, sorry guys, I'll be right back. You can't see this. It's Disney. That 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 would be that. Did you know uh, strip club? Did you know Stan Lee said he did that scene in the green room? Yeah. <laughs> it was so funny. He's like, wait, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> it was hilarious. I don't know. I didn't talk about Stan Lee, but it's yeah. funny. Like, how, how they, because it doesn't look like he's in a green room. It looks so like he was there. And yeah. He said, like, can you imagine, like, okay, can you just film this scene here? I just need you bending over and putting this dish in the sink. Okay, cool. cool. And then they put you in, in this, like, porn set. You're like, wait, wait. <laughs> it's a big scene. look bad. It's like, because he got some blowback for that. Like, oh, yeah. you sexist pig. Like, wait, wait, that's not what I was. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe just, maybe yeah. I think he was there and he was just like, hey, just tell me you're in the green room. Oh, yeah, 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 green room. It doesn't like, matter. Like, it's yeah. Stanley. You get the uh, pass if he was. But yeah, that's the only thing that for me, that's the only negativity on my part would be they would nerf these already, well, already movies. And to me, and to me, that's the, the oh. biggest, not even just an already movie, just they would nerf the entire Fox. They, they would just nerf all, essentially all of comic books at this point like i think the avengers are so like like i said these movies are enjoyable entertaining but they're not like long lasting like i can still like remember the plot to like x-men because it was so like oh man he, they're about to destroy the, the entire x-men world. united huh x-men united yeah x-men united okay x2 uh like because it was so like pushing the envelope it was like so this is so amazing and then like avengers 2 to me was a terrible movie Entertaining, yes. For Sokovia, and they had the yeah. Okay. It was so generic. It was it was almost the exact same plot as the first Avengers, just in a different aspect. Like oh, we're this world-ending thing. This group of robots, or something. And like the first one, this world-ending thing. These group of robots, and I'm almost afraid that the, the third mission is gonna be this world-ending thing. And this this different group of people are like it, it's almost like they, I'm telling you, it's so. I guess that's what I'm saying. Where if you took a lot of these characters out and replace them, it would almost, it wouldn't feel like a different movie. Like, if you took um, Professor X out of X-Men, these movies would seem really strange. Like, it would feel lacking. But if you took, let's say, Hawk, Hawkeye and replaced him with, um, I can't think Anybody of else? Any other, any other B-series like character? Or not Falcon. Falcon's yeah. already in there. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Of, who's a <clears> character <throat> that's not in Avengers that's normally in Avengers that... The yeah. Avengers? Yeah. Oh shit! The Avengers have a rotating character, have a rotating list of people anyway. Yeah, like I mean, if you replaced him like a different, it wouldn't feel that different. Like it wouldn't feel like he's made. His, <coughs> he, he didn't leave his mark. It just doesn't feel so. And that's my point. Ultimately, I would love for Fox to keep because it keeps it separate from that Disney entity. And they, it's like, okay, we can do our our own thing. And sure, they had their own investing interest, so it's probably still same story. But Disney has almost, I would say, a cookie cutter formula to it, where it, they get the payout. Okay. Uh, they you rarely hear like a Disney flop other than like John Carter. Um, oh yeah, shit. <laughs> that's like the only Disney flop I can think of. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, all those movies make billions. I'm talking, we're talking literally billions of dollars. Yeah. Uh, Thor Ragnarok. When did it come out? This weekend or last weekend? Uh, last weekend. Okay, no, last, no. Yeah, last last weekend. Yeah. Last weekend already pushed five hundred million dollars. 
Yeah. Sorry, it's already halfway there, and we're talking about seven days. So they they know how to make that yeah, money at time of this recording. Yeah, at the time of this recording, uh, they know how to make that money. Like they know how to do that, and I, I don't know. I I just I will hope for it in the long run that they stay out of Disney's hands. Uh, Disney's a great company in terms of like entertainment, but in terms of like making movies that are. What am I trying to say, Taylor? You, you're you're better at, at, at wording. Yeah. I don't know. I would I would say that the acquisition shouldn't happen, but they should broker a deal where the writers and creative team from MCU advises the Fo- 21st Century Fox team, advises, gives ideas, points out whatever the, whatever chemistry that the MCU is, has on their writing and creative team, mm. they share that with them and say. These characters are established. You've done this. You've done X, Y, and Z with the stories of these. Let's see where you can take it in here. Introduce these people right here. Bring these in. You mentioned this. You saw this. You know this person's been established as this as this kind of character. Have them go here. Them go here. This story be implemented. This will be the arc of a three movie arc. Whatever you know. That's all it is because it's it's business and it's money. How to get people back to the, back to the theater? Make it like okay, well. It's going to be. This is this is all build up, build up, build up, build up. Deadpool, Deadpool two is going to be build up for X Force, which is currently talked about already. You know they already have Domino coming in. <clears throat> Domino is there, so you know they. Oh, that's such a weird character. It is, and but they already have that. They already have it happening, so everybody's going to team up X Force. She's essentially a female Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, but you know, and then we have then. What's after that? What's after X Force? What's gonna happen there? You know they're gonna have you, more know, movies. Do you know Domino's power? If you look it up, like the, the Marvel wiki, her power literally says things just happen to go right for her. Uh, they call it a probability cloud. It's they, yeah, she gave me her name, the probability cloud. Maybe she means things just happen to go right for her. Like she'll be in a situation, a certain rock will fall a certain way, and then she'll shoot it out of the sky. Like, yeah, Longshot has that power too. It's really interesting. The probability. Cloud. All right. This is how far to Marvel Comics I go, y'all. I can tell you power is a specific character. But Drake couldn't think it's another Avenger, though, off the top of his head. <sighs> All right. Now you eat and re- got me to the challenge. Another Avenger off the top of my head. Goliath. Off top of your head. Goliath. You want Goliath? Yeah. With the same powers as Hawkeye or the same, it, it, the same, the equal. Okay. Uh, oh, like, equal, equal quality. Uh, yeah. I, I was going to say a White Canary, but I can't think of her name. It's like White, white Dove? White Dove. No, it's White No, something. that's DC's Um White Gale, Nightingale. Nightingale. Yeah, she's essentially uh, Hawkeye without arrows. <laughs> what does she do then? She just, she's the, Nightingale technically is a oh, girl from she she, Ag- Agents of Seals. I know. Yeah, okay. <laughs> she's badass at fighting, and then she generally uses like sticks. You mean like Black Widow then? Yeah, well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, two Black that's Widows. That's how generic they are. You can just switch her, okay, switch, I should have said Black Widow. That would have been a better example. Black Widow's getting her movie, you know what? Seriously? Stan Lee confirmed it. Speaking wow. of Stan Lee, it's not, he, it's he not shocking. It. We actually talked about this yeah. many times, like because back when Lucy was first made, and no one saw that movie but me, and I thought we were all. I screaming. watched Lucy too. Okay, I thought we were Lucy all as well, not Lucy too. There yeah, were two of them. Um, but because yeah, back when there was no, because Black Widow is not a, a mar- major character in Marvel comics, but she's an accessory. Yeah, and I do apologize. Well, I don't mean that in the most sexist way or anything. No, no, don't she, get mad. There are a lot she's of an accessory, accessory characters, characters in a Marvel in comic books in general. Black Widow was one of them. Hawkeye was basically one of them too. She's like Phil Coulson. <laughs> Except yeah, pretty much that. They can both yeah. fight. Um, exactly. And then the fact that she's getting her own movie, I can't even imagine her movie being that good. <laughs> Of course, you know they had the writers. It's, it's a spy. It's gonna be a spy movie. It's yeah. gonna be. It, it's, you know, her background is spy. So you know she's a, you know, assassin yeah. spy. It's all gonna be. It's gonna be assassin spy movie. It's all gonna be. Yeah. yeah. You'll have a character here and there. You know, cameo, what have you. Yeah. Man. What do you think? Do Are you asking think? Or me? <laughs> <laughs> do you think Fox Comics should just be part? Let's say call it, I'm calling it Fox Comics from now on. Fox it's Comics. A, it's a lot easier to say than Fox Marvel. You live action rights and all that fun. Do you think Fox is signed over Marvel to Disney or not? I personally, I don't. What do you think? What do you say? Like final vote. If you you part of the board, mean just oh, like me. Shit. You know what? I have so much. Inve- I I have so much invested in the Deadpool 
side of it. <laughs> you know, I you know, I, I, I would, I, as much a Deadpool fan I am, I would be, I would be okay. We're like, okay, cool. We saw our rated, we saw him cuss. That was cool. But if need be, if I need to get, if I need to get more characters, more jokes, and other character, and you know, stories come together. I mean, if Deadpool, if Deadpool showed up in the Infinity War, that'd be fucking hilarious. I just, <laughs> just doing something stupid in the background, like, hey, what the fuck happened here? Like, yeah, the, the post post credit, he's like, all right, what did I miss? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> like, that'd be funny. Like, Sailor would sell his children away. <laughs> yeah, to somebody else if it meant he got what he wanted. I be personally, funny. I, I'd be okay with that. I'd be, you know, they got they after the acquisition would happen, and then after Deadpool two, after uh, X Force, then they resorted back to Marvel. Um, the MCU. That way, James Brolin can go from Thanos to Cable and back and forth, like just in the same, you know, same, <laughs> in the same plot. Nope, it was <laughs> it was Cable fighting Thanos. That'd be funny because they're the same character, the same, like the same, the same, the same, the same actor. Yeah. Like <laughs> you look familiar. I like the way he looks, sir. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or like, or, or Human Torch turns off his fire and he's like, oh, I need, I need, to, I need to cosplay as Captain America. To go in the undercover. That would be hilarious, actually. So yeah. Captain America, so Team and Torch dresses up as, as, as Captain America yeah. and then goes over there. That would be hilarious. I agree. It'd um, be funny. It'd be funny. They'd be, they'd be a Deadpool I would thing. be against it. Maybe Deadpool calling out like, "What? You guys not see what's going on here?" <laughs> he walks by. Do, do you guys see us? Oh, fuck. I would be totally against it. Um, mo- most because, like, to me, all these Marvel movies that come out of Disney point straight to the middle. They don't. They don't. People don't die in them. Uh, people don't have any real. Store. They don't have any real characters. Someone's there. someone's dying in Infinity War. Oh yeah, someone. But that's that's the that's the big news in Disney Con. Oh, someone's gonna die. For another comic book, people just die. You just yeah. have no one like they don't make a big deal about people dying because I'm it happens. Like, yeah. A char- a, a superhero dies. You know, like yeah. what have you? Who they gonna kill? Hot guy? Because they already tried to get him out of the comics and they brought him back. Just... And then you know, Rhodey got blasted. Now he's on crushes. You know, yeah. at, at the end of Avengers two. Yeah. Um. No, no. But yeah, so I, I think I, they're I killing Vision. He has the most makeup, <laughs> probably the most <laughs> difficult character to do. Like, okay, let's get rid of this dude. <laughs> It'd be easiest. Well, I, th- I think the Captain America. Or Iron Man, Man, I'm so mad, and it, I was so mad that Ultron movie was so bad. <laughs> Actually, like Ultron is one of my favorite characters, and they movie they killed his movie. It, they basically, and then Iron Man. Was there a Captain America three? There was a Captain America three, right? That was that yeah. was uh, that was in a terrible Civil War. War. Yeah, I thought that movie was bad too. So they uh, they killed to me. They sit and this is my this is my entire graph. This is why I would vote knowing it's this. some of the most iconic comic books, Age of Ultron, Civil War. They somehow managed to dilute it down to this enjoyable family movie, and it's just not what it was. Not what it was. I think five hundred thousand five hundred billion dollars uh, says something differently. Yeah, exactly. How much million dollars? Sorry, right. and I mean, that that, that's my thing. It's all about the money at the end of the day. So they would probably get it. I would. I would be. Well, the they're like, only... no, Dre, you're right. I got your point. <laughs> Stop it! I'll talk. So we're done. I, I would be the board member. They'd be dragging you like, no, you can't have it. You can't have it. We'll have one. We'll have one comment here. Comment. <laughs> yeah. It says, oh, Marvel Disney is X. Dre's you're no right, longer. Dre. Dre's no longer with the company anymore. I will gladly take that billion dollars. Dre's been relocated <laughs> to a different area. Here are the licenses. <laughs> yeah. Take them, yeah. All right. What do you think? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check back here. Dre, do your outro. I'm out. <laughs> he always does this. I'm kind of dizzy because I <laughs> twist that head. I actually did it. I did it real big. Now I'm actually kind of like, woo. <laughs> All right. Dre, Dre is uh, lightheaded because he's old. Yeah. All right, and again, like, subscribe, check out our videos. We did uh, next week. We got some coming up about superhero fatigue. Um, we have some uh, videos up on Super Lucky, The Burger Tales, and some project. Uh, like oh, on superhero fatigue, real quick. Hellboy, yeah or nay? You excited? I'm excited. I love that's Hellboy. not Marvel, but it's. I uh, know, oh, are you excited? Before Dark Horse, before Dark Horse signs over their licenses to Disney, are you excited for this coming Hellboy? <laughs> I, I see how it is. You know, like it's you know. <clears throat> it's not like we've had a lot of Hellboy. We've had two movies. Those were great. They were good. I enjoyed them. They were fun. Too bad Ron Perlman's old now. So people people get old, Dre. Yeah, it's it's a sad story. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it is. Yeah, we'll see. All right. Hellboy, we're waiting for you to bring back the love of comics. All right, and we on that note, we out. Peace. See you later. <laughs>